Hey everybody, this is uh, Mount Bear. Just give everybody a little update about what's going on. Uh, uh, and a little update on, on my on myself. I've been a little, just a tad bit depressed, depressed lately, just because uh, some personal things have been going on. But, I'm gonna suck it up and, uh, and, and uh, get my things get my things done ready. Uh, we've recorded episode 11 and we're, <coughs> excuse me, recorded episode 11 and, uh, we're, uh, very much work, and I'm, uh, editing it right now, so it'll be, it'll be up pretty soon. Doesn't take that much to edit. Just add some music and stuff like that. <coughs> Anyways, let's talk about a little bit about the things I've been seeing lately on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> yes, of course, Sony announced their big motion controller. Which, which, uh, if not similar, looks almost exactly, uh, if not similar, if not, uh, exactly like it, it looks sim very similar to the Wiimote. But, uh, I don't care about that too much. I mean, imitation is the sincere sincerest form of flattery. Miyamoto himself said that. So, uh, uh, also, I'm not worried too much about it because they're not, I don't think they're penetrating the market with it too well. Because uh, they want to get people who will play the Wii, move them over to the PS3, then they're going to have to compete with the Wii's price, which means they're going to have to... Right now, I think the bundle has a game with it, so right now they're going to have to... What they're going to have to do is... Uh, to complete with the Wii's bundle, the Wii's current bundle, which is... The Wii's current bundle is the console, a Wii, a Wii Mote, a Nunchuck, a Wii Motion Plus, Wii Sports Resorts, Wii Sports, and that's it. All that you get two games, the whole control, the whole controller pa package with Wii Motion Plus and the console, all for two hundred dollars, no price change. And uh, <laughs> and um, uh, with the PS3, there is a price change. Adding all the move hardware is fifty dollars more. I don't know. But they only include one game. I think I guess they include a DualShock 3 and a PS3 Slim Slim console. That's it. So and and what comes in the PS3 Move package, I guess, is a camera, the compo the 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 wand thing and the the wand thing and the sub controller. Uh, <laughs> so it I don't think it's gonna penetrate the market too well. I mean, it's not gonna nab everybody from from the casual crowd because uh, just like Black Bond said the only thing that the PS3 probably has gotten, gotten going for it when it comes to the move is probably the probably the high definition but I don't think anybody's gonna care too much for the high definition if they have a Wii if they're enjoying their Wii's and they're playing and they're playing them I'm pretty sure they don't care about HD graphics too much so doesn't really matter too much, too much, but I remain skeptical about about this whole thing. I just said I remain skeptical about it, and uh, maybe it'll be good. Well, I get it. No, not in, not until big games come out. And same thing goes for the 360. Not that many games come out for 360 that aren't on the PC, which I already have. So, uh, by the way, I need to update my my computer parts. <laughs> so. Uh, move it's it's nice it's neat uh, a few design flaws with with it i i think that gives the wemo the wemo and the Wii Motion plus combo a little bit more advantage like that camera for one thing i mean uh see the Wii the Wii, the thing about the Wii the Wii's are, uh, reason why reason why Wii Motion plus and the Wii costs so much less is uh, probably because uh because the way it's designed, for one thing, they, uh, instead of going with uh, the way that that Sony did, the with the with the 3D tracking and stuff. But by the way, it's not full 3D tracking because I have to, 3D tracking is also behind you, and nothing can track anything that's behind you. So if I was to turn around, could you see that little white ball? And what's another the another thing that li that ball of light? It has to see that ball of light, or it can't do any motion tracking. If it doesn't see it, it goes out of whack. 
but once it see it, it calibrates once again. Pretty much it's, uh, why some people think it's better because it's always being calibrated. It's like, oh, always being calibrated. Uh, but, yeah, it's my little take on it. I'm not really, I don't really care too much, care too much for it. I mean, I already got a Wii. <laughs> I play plenty of ga games on it. I play plenty of neat games on it. And uh, I got a game coming out in about 10 days. Red Steel 2. Psych for that one. But, yeah. And, okay, not enough about Sun Sunny Move. I'm going to go on to my next group of videos I'm probably going to start making. I love the the fighting game engine called Mugen. But do I, uh, but I don't really play it. I actually find, I like, I actually like finding the best AIs I can find and, uh, putting, putting them against each other and see who wins. So I'm thinking I'm gonna make a little video series called, may, maybe like five, maybe like five to ten videos of, uh, if I can, I'm gonna find the best AI characters I can find and put them against each other. Maybe I'm gonna call it the Battle of the AIs or some or something, but it'll be it'll be great. So stay tuned for new content and stay tuned for episode 11. That is going to be the next group of videos that are coming up. Then we'll have the Mugen Battle of the AIs. So everybody, take care.